DaVinci Resolve for noobs. In a recent video, I had two masks going on that allowed the tracks underneath it to show through, and a bunch of people asked me, how'd you do that, Daniel? Here's how to draw two masks on a piece of footage. Select it in your timeline, right click, and then go down to Open in Fusion page. Now, in this case, I just chose to use one of the spline masks. I use the B spline mask because it makes a nice curved line. The minute I add it, you can see my entire image disappears and I just need to go over to the upper right inspector and under the controls, I need to click the invert box. Now I can draw on screen and create a mask that will mask out this section of this footage. Now keep in mind, it won't mask anything out until you've completed your shape. I'm drawing a rough cloud shape here and I have to make sure that my last click ends up on the very first spot I started. Once I've completed that shape, you can see I can adjust it and it masks everything out to allow anything below this track to show through. But when it comes time to add a second mask, if I select that media one in and then click on the B spline again, and I start drawing the second mask up here, you'll notice as I complete this mask, it doesn't seem to mask anything out in this area. Here's what you need to do. With that node selected, you'll see that there is a section added to that one called paint mode. If you go back to the original one, you'll see it doesn't have a paint mode, but the second one will now have paint mode added. You just need to expand and the drop down menu and change that from merge to subtract. Now that second mask will remove that area from your video footage. Make sure you only have the solid box ticked. If you ticked invert like you did on the first spline, it'll give you a completely reversed image and that's not what we want. We want two masks on one piece of video footage. Now back on your edit page, it's easy to drop things in the track underneath it and readjust those things so they go into each mask as required for your footage. Nice and simple. Now you have two masks working on one video clip.